Hello. If you've ever been to London, you may have been on the DLR, or the Docklands Light Railway. If you were lucky enough to get the front seat, you might have asked yourself how these trains work without drivers. Today, that is exactly what I will answer. First things first, let's clear up a misconception. As you can kind of see in this video, each vehicle has a passenger service agent, or PSA. These staff members not only control the doors and look after passengers, but can also take manual control of the train, for example, if a station is closed and needs to be bypassed. When this is not used, the DLR uses a sophisticated automatic train operation, or ATO system. This system is essentially the driver of the train, controlling its speed, stopping at stations, and even opening and closing the doors. It's like having a computer chauffeur. This ATO system operates using a com combination of onboard computers and trackside equipment. The onboard computer controls acceleration and braking, ensuring that trains maintain the perfect speed and stop accurately at stations. Trackside equipment, such as beacons and sensors, communicate with the trains to provide real-time data about their location and speed. It's like a conversation between the train and the track, constantly exchanging information to ensure everything runs smoothly. But wait, if there are no real drivers, who's in charge? Well, the DLR is monitored and controlled from a central control room, located in Poplar. Here, a team of highly skilled operators keep an eye on everything ensuring that trains run smoothly and safely. Think of them as the puppet masters behind the scenes, pulling the strings to keep the show running. This state-of-the-art facility is equipped with large screens displaying live footage and data from the entire network. Operators here can see the exact position of every train, monitor passenger flow, and respond to any accidents. Since most of the DLR stations are unstaffed, they can also see CCTV footage, across the network. They can even take remote manual control of a train if needed. It's like mission control for the trains, ensuring that everything runs like clockwork. Now, let's get into the signalling. The DLR uses a combination of fixed block signalling and moving block signalling systems, depending on where you are. Fixed block signalling divides the track into sections, and only one train can occupy a section at a time. Moving block signalling, on the other hand, allows trains to run closer together by continually calculating safe distances between them. It's essentially a game of leapfrog, but with trains. Of course, even driverless trains need maintenance. The DLR trains are maintained at the Beckton and Poplar depots. Here, they undergo regular inspections, cleaning and repairs to ensure they're always in shape. When it comes to maintenance, the DLR leaves no stone unturned. Regular inspections and maintenance are carried out to keep the trains in peak condition. This includes checking the wheels, brakes and doors, as well as cleaning the interiors and exteriors. And let's not forget about software updates. Just like your phone, the DLR trains receive regular software updates to improve performance and add new features. It's a never-ending cycle of maintenance and improvement to keep the DLR running smoothly. It is really important to appreciate how advanced this system really was for the time. The DLR opened in 1987, designed to serve the redeveloped Docklands area. Initially, it had just 11 stations and 3 routes, most of which were on old track. From its humble beginnings, the DLR has grown to serve many of London's key areas, including Canary Wharf, Stratford and the financial district of Bank. Each new extension brought with it new challenges and innovations, ensuring that the DLR remains at the forefront of urban transport. It's a journey of growth and transformation, driven by the need to connect people and places more efficiently. It also reflects the growth of London, with the most recent extension to Stratford International mainly being driven by the Olympics. It's come a long way, much like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. And butterflies were made of steel and ran on tracks. So there you have it. DLR is a marvel of modern engineering, using a perfect blend of automation technology and human operators to create a seamless travel experience. Next time you hop on a DLR train, 
Take a moment to appreciate the invisible hands guiding your journey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more.